Hello, uh, thanks uh, for joining uh, this training session. Today we will be talking about migrating plugin documentation uh, to documentation as code. Uh, yeah, uh, we had some issues uh, once starting this session because we had to change the Zoom link on a very short notice. So apologies uh, for everyone who wasn't able to join this session, but uh, this recording will hopefully help. And if you have any questions, uh, we have channels for that. So one of the channels is Jenkins CI slash Hackfest. It's our main communication channel for any topics about the Jenkins UI UX Hackfest. And you can also contact the documentation special interest group in the Jenkins CI slash docs channel. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about uh, plugin migration, etc., please uh, use one of these channels. Uh, so, uh, let's go to the topic itself. And I do not have specific slides, but I will uh, briefly reduce the slides we had uh, during the kickoff session. So uh, recently we have migrated um, um, a number of Jenkins plugins uh, to documentation as code. And uh, we had a blog post about uh, that uh, uh, on the Jenkins website. Um, just a second, I will open. Uh, uh, hard first link. Um, so uh, here you can uh, see guidelines which basically summarizes, uh, oh sorry, wrong page, the user documentation, um, yeah, uh, plugin documentation migration uh, guidelines. So the idea is that now uh, we have um, a new plugin set. This plugin set uh, is driven uh, by um, uh, the new engine under the hood. So now it's a fully static website with CDN, so it's really fast to load. Um, before that, we were using uh, Jenkins Wiki as a source of documentation, but right now we are gradually migrating to GitHub and documentation as code, so that uh, you can store documentation right inside your repository. So for example, uh, let's take a look at the configuration as code uh, plugin. Is a link here. So you can see a documentation uh, here on the screen. Uh, and this documentation uh, comes uh, straight from uh, GitHub. So if you go to the GitHub page, you can uh, discover uh, the same page here. And uh, why it's helpful? Uh, firstly, you can uh, version documentation, you can have documentation for particular versions. Then uh, when you develop changes, you can develop documentation in parallel. So it's not something like somebody emerges a feature, then you ask, uh, please write documentation for that, and yeah, half of the times nothing happens. Uh, so right now, we, as a maintainer of the repository, you can require someone to write a documentation uh, during creation of the pull request. And we can also recognize uh, documentation contributors. So for example, in configuration as code plugin, uh, you can see that uh, there is a, session, a section for documentation updates, and we try to keep it in parallel. So thanks uh, to all documentation contributors. Uh, there are multiple reasons why we migrated out of Wiki. It's about stability, about uh, user experience. Uh, for example, for me, it was really difficult to even pass capture there sometimes. Uh, so now uh, we have documentation uh, right inside plugins, and plugin site can visualize that. Uh, and we um, encourage you to do this migration. It's uh, not uh, always trivial because uh, during the migration, uh, we need not only to move from uh, Jenkins Wiki, which is basically Confluence, uh, but also you need uh, to uh, copy edit the documentation, for example, clean up terminology, clean up formatting, maybe update screenshots, etc. And uh, in order to help uh, you to do such migration, we created a tool called Jenkins Wiki Exporter. Um, which uh, provides uh, some basic ST systems and uh, creates skeletons for this documentation. Um, and we invite all contributors, uh, all plugin maintainers to gradually switch uh, to GitHub uh, as a documentation source. So if you want to see the current progress, you can see that now, well, once it loads, because this page is not really uh, documentation as code, it's take a while. So here you can see that we have already migrated 400 plugins to GitHub. Also, we have uh, 80 plugins which are in progress. So basically, pull requests are submitted but haven't been released yet. And there are something like 200 of uh, plugins which still need to be migrated. 
And today uh, we will just uh, do a quick hands-on uh, session. I will migrate one of the plugins to show how it can be done. Uh, before that, do you have any questions before we proceed with the demo? So yeah, it, uh, if you have any questions, just unmute yourself and ask. Does anyone have permissions to unmute? I guess so. Okay. So um, I won't be deep diving into how to uh, uh, migrate uh, in practice and why we do that. Uh, because yeah, if you go to Jenkins Online Meetup uh, in historical events, you can uh, find a recording of documentations uh, SIG meeting where we discuss that. Uh, so just a second. Okay, I think it's a bit slow today. Uh, okay. Uh, Uh, yeah, just change the focus. So I yeah, will uh, post the recording later, but uh, there should be a session. If it doesn't capture due to it, I, yeah, we do a lot of sessions these days. So changes in Jenkins plugin documentation and change logs. So this is a session where you can find all the materials of uh, the deep dive about uh, why we need that. Uh, we won't be doing it uh, uh, today. Uh, session. So let's uh, just uh, go straight to the demo. I was thinking uh, which plugin to migrate, and uh, I thought that it might be useful uh, to take uh, a plugin which has some uh, images, etc. And for that purpose, I've chosen uh, the Chuck Norris plugin. It's actually a quite popular plugin. It has uh, more than 4,000 installations. And uh, right now, if you go on the website, you can see that uh, um, this plugin hasn't uh, been uh, migrated uh, to um, uh, documentation as code yet. So for example, here, if you go to the plugin site, you can see the documentation, but it comes from the Jenkins Wiki, and you have a link here that help us uh, to improve this page. Uh, so here, if you click, uh, you, you'll get basically these guidelines. And uh, let's try migrating that. Uh, for migration, I will be using our exporter tool. Uh, so here um, we have uh, Chuck Norris plugin. So we can uh, reference wiki URL or just take plugin ID. I will take uh, plugin ID here. So the uh, Slack. So let's do the migration. Uh, for the migration, we have a number of options. We can export it as Markdown, as Markdown uh, zip, these images, etc., or as a Skidoc. Uh, for GitHub, usually uh, people use Markdown, though it doesn't have a table of contents and other features out of the box, but uh, whatever works, uh, let's uh, do Markdown export for this demo. Uh, yeah, it will take a while. Okay, so now it produced just Chuck Norris zip, which is basically uh, the bundle uh, which we will be migrating. And uh, I already have a prepared repository. Mm, or maybe not. Let's see. Uh, plugins, uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, so, yeah, this is our repository. Let's just uh, make sure it's up to date. Uh, because I was doing some prep work yesterday. Okay, so now we're on the master branch and we will uh, just uh, start our documentation uh, uh, recording. Uh, okay, docs migration. So um, we have our repository ready and, and let's just save our documentation bundle right inside this repository. Uh, well, usually I just save it on my desktop. Um, but yeah, then we will just get lost there, I guess. Okay, Jenkins, uh, plugins, here we have uh, Chuck Norris somewhere, Chuck Norris, and I will uh, uh, save the zip file there. And uh, let's just um, unzip this, uh, this file. 
so um, they will just have check and all these uh, docs. So yeah, I'm using uh, Windows, but uh, if you do it on another platform, you will get a uh, pretty much similar experience. And uh, let's start uh, doing our migration. For this demo, I will be using Visual Studio Code, but basically you can do exactly the same in any other ID. So I'm not using uh, specific features uh, here. So we have created a uh, zip archive. We don't uh, longer need that. And we have uh, the documentation uh, which has, has been exported. And here you can uh, already see one problem because right now um, the, main, uh, the landing page is actually in a ski doc, uh, not uh, in Markdown. Uh, so for this particular plugin, I do not think uh, it's a uh, principle because uh, it's not extremely big. So I would suggest to go with Markdown or we can uh, respect the wishes of the original maintainer and actually export everything as a ski doc. Um, well, let's just uh, stick to Markdown for now. Mm. So we will need uh, to rename uh, the main page to MD. Mm. Okay, and uh, what uh, did we have uh, right now? So if you go to the repository, um, uh, check notice. So you can see that uh, there is already a kind of stop, but this stop is uh, not nearly close to what we have uh, on the wiki. Uh, so let's just see whether we can uh, replace it uh, directly. So this plugin adds absolutely delightful feature for Jenkins. Depending, uh, it will show, okay, show a picture of uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, okay, so there is just uh, some fun uh, in uh, GitHub. And here, well, uh, uh, there is uh, more or less formal text. So let's just keep this formal text, but uh, we will uh, retain this part of the demo. Um, mm, okay. So what we will do, I will just take all the content from here and uh, yeah, put it uh, to the readme file. Okay. And same, we need to do the same for images. So our exporter tool already puts a convenient location for images when you export the file. So I just move it to the top entry and here you can see that uh, images are here and yep, the, all images are ready uh, to be worked on. So we can uh, just drop our temporary directory right now and uh, we have everything uh, in a proper place. Uh, for the next steps, I will enable preview. So here we have a preview of the uh, documentation uh, which we are working on. Uh, and you can see that uh, this documentation, it might be displayed a bit differently in uh, GitHub, but yeah, I think it's uh, something which uh, provides you starting point um, uh, for reviews. Uh, okay, so we will also change the name a bit because uh, we changed the naming conventions a bit. Um, and after that, uh, uh, let's take a look at the text. So here we actually uh, got a good starting point because um, our exporter tools uh, extracted wiki, it also uh, replaced all the macros, etc. You can still find uh, that uh, there are some strange entries in the text. Uh, so let's try to clean it up. So here, one of the first things we do, uh, we actually fix uh, the line breaks because unfortunately when, uh, uh, so a wiki exporter tool uses a Pandoc under the hood and Pandoc doesn't support uh, line breaks uh, based on sentences right now. So it basically just uh, does uh, uh, size uh, limited uh, lines. So we will uh, start breaking it down and just to make it uh, friendly to reviewers and contributors, we'll break uh, down uh, by lines like that. So same here, same here. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's applicable. Uh, Yeah, usually we use another ID so that, uh, yeah. 
Okay, uh, same for frequently uh, answered question, asked questions. So for example, here you can see that uh, uh, there, are, there is a question and for that, uh, let's just uh, uh, try, uh, okay, like that. I'm getting non-existent field exception in Hudson log file, how to fix this problem. So here we had uh, hit one issue with the content because yeah, it's about Hudson. So somebody has written this documentation when Hudson was a thing. Uh, and you can see that uh, the screenshot refers to version 1.317. So it's pretty old, uh, it's maybe 10 years old, a bit less. Uh, so we will need to clean it up. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so upgrade to Chuck Norris plugin uh, 04 on you to, uh, to get rid of this exception. Does this information matter in 2020? I don't think so. So my suggestion would be to actually just uh, remove this section because it's not relevant. Uh, let's focus on the content which is uh, needed for users. Testimonials, uh, Uncle Bob said Chuck Norris is very motivating. Yeah, that's something we should keep for sure. Uh, so let's uh, just do that. Uh, uh. Okay, so for common plugins, uh, I'm not sure that uh, we would allow such wording. Uh, well, this plugin is designed for fun, so yeah, probably we'll keep uh, that. So uh, this blog post, uh, Let's uh, check uh, links because uh, I'm not 100% sure that all these links are still active. So while we're working on the content, let's verify that. Okay, so this link is active. If you want, uh, uh, we can repost it. So weblogs, JavaNet, this one is most likely down. Yeah, this uh, website was closed. So I guess this one we have, uh, we can just remove John Ferguson uh, Smart mentioned Chuck Norris in Kikas Jenkins plugins. So this one most likely done as well. Uh, okay. So yeah, this one is done, but uh, we have a link somewhere in archive. Or maybe not. No, everything is down. So, yeah, if somebody wants to post new testimonials about uh, a Chuck Norris plugin, please do so. Uh, right now, we will just remove content which is obsolete. Uh, and here, um, Chuck Norris, the programmer facts. Again, uh, we will uh, do the same. Uh, we will check whether this link exists. Yeah, this link uh, definitely exists. So, we will keep that. Uh, okay, Chuck Norris, the programmer facts. Um, and another question here is about uh, emotional uh, Hudson plugin or emotional Jenkins. So let's see where this thing will lead us because it's Hudson the namespace, it's a plugin which probably doesn't exist anymore, or maybe it does. So we will just uh, try to follow uh, the link as our users would do. And uh, here you can see that uh, this plugin is actually deprecated. Please use a emotional Jenkins plugin. So we follow the link again. And the emotional Jenkins uh, link uh, leads us somewhere. So this plugin has been uh, released five years ago, but uh, it's actually, uh, well, at least it's available. Uh, so let's just uh, update that. Uh, sorry for my debug console. Okay, so we will uh, just uh, put a link to the Emotional Jenkins plugin now. Okay, uh, so we have done uh, this part of the migration. Uh, the next step for us is to actually double check whether everything uh, is fine uh, content-wise. Uh, so here, uh, yeah, the plugin that's absolutely delightful feature for Jenkins, uh, picture of Chuck Norris. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm also copy adding uh, some uh, content here just uh, for ordering. Uh, to take, uh, 
Okay. Uh, for more details, please uh, see the associated wiki page. We're actually migrating this wiki page, so we will just remove that. Uh, uh, download the installation, you can preferably install from the plugins update center. Uh, you can uh, uh, download it uh, here. Uh, so again, uh, let's uh, verify this link because uh, Okay, this link is still active, uh, but yeah, I guess uh, it will eventually uh, lead us, uh, uh, well, we start using HTTPS, but uh, let's keep it here for uh, now. Okay. So if something needed, we can easily migrate incrementally. You can see that I also apply some styling. So, uh, Chuck Norris, etc. Uh, after installing the plugin, uh, go to the configuration page and check box, uh, create ch Chuck Norris should appear. So just uh, let's verify that uh, the check box is called like that because most likely it has been renamed. Uh, so let's just uh, go to the code. Well, I'm not really familiar with the code here. Uh, but yeah, Chuck Norris. Uh, with uh, our global configuration. So okay, uh, let's just keep it to this um, because yeah, again, I'm not sure where, what is the button, and uh, definitely I'm uh, too lazy to launch this plugin and to verify the guidelines. So we can, uh, can do it incrementally if needed. But I, I believe that it's actually Chuck Norris. Okay. So the next step is uh, tick the checkbox and uh, save uh, the configuration for, uh, for a freestyle job. Chuck Norris image uh, will appear on the job page. Uh, that's right, and we have this image. I run a build, um, after it's completed, Chuck Norris image should also appear on the build page. This is applicable for both uh, freestyle and Maven jobs. And right now we also have, uh, the, uh, we know that it supports pipeline. So uh, when it was done, uh, uh, the wiki uh, page wasn't updated. So we will uh, just add uh, no pipeline jobs here. just another fix for our documentation. So here you can see that uh, there are working from my ID that there are some tabs, and we finally got to the images. So for images, uh, images themselves uh, look pretty good, but at the same time, uh, you can see that it uh, displays Hudson version. So one of the ways to fix that is actually to launch the plugin and to retake the screenshots. Uh, so yeah, it's a way I would advise, but uh, instead of that, uh, well, let's uh, do it other way. We can just fix uh, the images. And uh, if uh, there is a version which annoys us, let's just delete the version, right? So for that, yeah, I think it doesn't really matter uh, what I will be using. Um, okay, I will actually use paint.net uh, because uh, it, it's a good practice uh, to compress uh, the images. And if you migrate a plugin with a lot of documentation, please compress uh, the images. So here, for example, we have uh, this. Uh, okay, now I will see it to the number how you crop uh, to the selection is here. Uh, so let's just uh, take a reduced uh, image and crop. Okay, so here's our new image. And uh, preview size uh, with the current default uh, uh, um, uh, layout will be just 15 kilobytes, nothing to worry about, so we save that. So we updated one image, and we will do the same with others. Uh, mm. So it's actually what I would advise uh, to do for content, which which is not relevant because you can just uh, remove that. There is a core that uh, turn it out to the right, so we will crop it out as well. Okay, so this one is a bit bigger, but 
still okay. And also Czech Norris stumble up. It's my actually favorite image. So if you have ever seen uh, Chuck Norris going nuclear, uh, it's what I've created at some point for uh, referring some issues in Jenkins. And yeah, uh, we can do that. So yeah, I'll also crop this image. And yes. So we have uh, all three images updated. Okay. So now we would have a, a page which uh, would include uh, a lot of information and this page is up to date, but still we could uh, do better. So for example, uh, what's missing on this page? Uh, change logs are missing right now. And uh, it would be useful for users uh, to see the change logs. Uh, what do we have in this repository? In this repository right now we have nothing, uh, but uh, you can see that um, we have uh, already adopted uh, a release drafter plugin. Again, together with Mark Wade, we were presenting a release drafter a while ago. Uh, so here um, uh, we will uh, be basically using GitHub releases for the change log. So let's do that. And previous versions just uh, didn't have change logs at all, I guess. So because uh, if they were based on wiki, they would uh, usually appear in a, as a part of the migrated uh, MD file. So um, now let's uh, put it uh, somewhere here. Uh, so here I will um, also increase the duration and uh, for example, just uh, uh, add a section about release notes. Um, and here I just uh, uh, a reference GitHub releases because we have nothing else uh, to reference. So we have a change log section uh, uh, here right now, GitHub releases. Um, okay, so this uh, would be a valid documentation, but we also can uh, do some more improvements. For example, if you go to the configuration as code uh, plugin, you can see that uh, there are badges here. And there are some badges which are actually useful to users. For example, uh, reference to plugin, reference to change log, reference to installation numbers. Uh, sometimes there are also references to uh, Git uh, charts or to other charts. So we don't have anything like that for check notice. Uh, but for these uh, labels, I think that we could uh, reuse them. And uh, let's just do that. So the easiest way to do that is to actually copy paste from uh, existing plugin. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. So I opened uh, the plugin as markdown and you can see that uh, there, are, there is a number of badges. So I just uh, copy ones which are relevant to us and uh, put them on my page. Are there any questions so far? Just, yeah, I spent a lot of time talking. So if you have any questions, please feel free to interrupt me and ask. So, yeah, there are some badges. These badges still uh, reference uh, configuration as code plugin, uh, and let's uh, get it fixed. So we know the idea of the plugin, and we know uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub location of the plugin. In all cases, it just uses Chuck Norris. So our update of badges will basically boil down to just replace configuration as code by Chuck Norris in all the labels. So you can see that uh, some labels actually reference uh, GitHub releases, some uh, uh, yeah, Chuck Norris. So here you can see that uh, plugin not found. So something uh, goes, uh, went wrong and it's me. Um, so change log, uh, no releases found. It's fine because we haven't done a first release. And here, for example, uh, yeah, installation numbers, we also switch to Chuck uh, Norris. So later we could also polish uh, batch numbers, etc., if needed, but uh, sorry, batch colors, but for now it should be okay. So we have migrated uh, documentation, we have added links, we have added badges, and right now we can just uh, uh, do the migration for that. Uh, so I'm going to commit the code. I hope that Batiste will be fine with uh, using uh, Markdown. Uh, if not, yeah, we will revert it in a separate pull request. So, yeah, we have everything in place. I just commit it, uh, migrate the documentation. So, yeah, 
wiki to GitHub. Okay. So then I will push it uh, to my uh, local fork of the Chuck Norris plugin. And yeah, you can see that uh, uh, we got a suggestion to create a pull request. So uh, in this pull request, basically it's a standard operation. Uh, so for example, if I submit it to a plugin which I do not maintain, uh, uh, I would uh, like to migrate uh, the docs uh, to GitHub. See this uh, uh, blog post. So I submitted the pull request and uh, I will also need to label it. For example, uh, we use release drafter. So here I will add a documentation label. In a, so it's not something you can do as a contributor, but maintainers can do it for you. Uh, and also I will reference our existing project for plugin documentation migration. So it's needed so that um, this um, uh, project automatically appears in a wiki exporter. So you have seen uh, um, uh, this dashboard in progress. And uh, this dashboard is basically generated based on uh, some information uh, we have collected. So again, let, so, uh, let, let it open. So for OK status, we basically get it from Update Center. So if your plugin is migrated, it will be updated, updated automatically. But for work in progress tasks, we have no way to get this information from Update Center. So we basically have a GitHub project. And yeah, thanks, Raihan, because yeah, I was uh, going to do that. Uh, so yeah, this is a common pitfall, and right, uh, we are going to fix that. So they think that uh, we need uh, the Jenkins Update Center to know uh, from where to get the documentation. For that, uh, we use a field in plugin form. Uh, it's located here. Mm. So right, this one. So if you do not change this field, uh, the um, uh, update center will be still thinking that uh, the documentation is located on Wiki. And we can just replace it uh, by URL. Uh, so it will be fine. And after that, I will uh, need to commit to the code again. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, use uh, GitHub as a source of plugin documentation. So I commit this change and I push it uh, to my personal fork so that it will be processed. So this is uh, the pull request. Uh, we should be ready to go. Uh, we still need uh, to give it some time uh, to build um, because yeah, we have continuous integration. This continuous integration uh, doesn't always uh, pass uh, the build immediately because you have a number of incoming pull requests. It takes a while. So let's uh, finish uh, uh, with other tasks we would be doing as UI UX hard test because we ask you uh, to report your contributions. And for example, here, what I will do, um, I will report my contribution to documentation. Uh, Created uh, uh, Norris uh, uh, plugin for uh, so documentation as code. Uh, okay. So I will just put a link here and I will say that migrated all uh, docs to uh, GitHub. Uh, so I guess uh, in ideal world, uh, we should uh, have put uh, whatever station from Chuck Norris. Uh, well, let's just do that, right? Uh, so where do we have all these uh, jokes? Yeah, factor generator, I guess. Okay, so let's, uh, if there is something about uh, documentation. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a really important part of the demo. Chuck Norris, uh, documentation. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it works for me. 
So I will just put it uh, to the image. Okay, and uh, I sub uh, submitted my contribution. So it will be uh, processed uh, by the team and uh, then uh, it should be fine. And yeah, I will also put it here just for fun. Okay, any questions about the migration? So if you have any question, please uh, just unmute yourself and we will discuss that. Is there any uh, checker process that could be uh, contributed to, like checking the links automatically if they are not in 404 or something that could help on that topic given the big amount of links? Uh, yeah, this is a good topic. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some uh, CI flow uh, set up uh, for Jenkins IO by Zbigniew. Um, so um, you can uh, uh, find it for Jenkins IO. For plugin documentation, uh, there is uh, no something out of the box, uh, but uh, actually GitHub uh, has a quite good ecosystem of GitHub actions. Uh, so let's uh, just uh, uh, let's uh, try to find something uh, which helps with links. Uh, let's see. There is a markdown link checker for sure. Okay. Uh, so link uh, checker uh, for markdown in HTML files, right? Yeah. The question is uh, which which step do we want to check? Do we want to check the source code? And then you need the markdown link check or ASCII doctor based on the kind of source file? Or do we want to check the final product generated in the documentation, which might mm -hmm. be another topic? That's why I'm asking because it might yeah, not right. be that simple. Yeah, so, uh, uh, this, uh, so the first good step would be to just uh, check links right inside the repository. And then uh, on the plugin side, yes, we could add uh, additional checks, uh, but uh, yeah, right now we don't have them. So our plugin side basically converts all the links, it replaces links to GitHub uh, to relative ones, and it does it uh, kind of automatically. So if something goes wrong, uh, it's rather bug to the plugin website we would uh, like to fix. Uh, but yeah, right now there is no link checker uh, configured for this website. And if you're interested uh, to contribute something like that, it would be great because yes, there are broken links and we would be happy to clean them up. Cool. Thanks for the answer. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to try, uh, yeah, I think we could enable uh, whatever link checker. I won't be doing it right now, but yeah, what I would be doing in my repository, I would be just adding a GitHub action which uh, does that. Uh, or we could uh, add something to the Jenkins pipeline, but uh, right now we do not do it. Uh, so we could enable a tool. For example, Zbigniew has a tool for verification, verifying things. So we could uh, add it to the default pipeline in Jenkins. For example, Jenkins Infra Pipeline Library. Uh, here we have, um, well, I guess VARS, yeah, build plugin. So the, uh, this is a default plugin uh, build uh, flow, which is used by the most of the plugins. And uh, if uh, we introduce some link checking tools, we could uh, add it right inside here. So okay. that, uh, if you're interested, you can do that. And uh, this tool supports uh, Docker container steps. Though, yeah, Docker uh, is a bit of a luxury resource on our CI instance right now, uh, because we uh, try to use uh, Azure container instances. So basically single shot masters. So if you can use it uh, in Linux without Docker, it would be recommended. But if you will, uh, want to use Docker, we can also introduce container steps and uh, verify that. So again, you can contribute there. Okay. Okay, so we've got uh, the build passing. Uh, and yeah, then uh, I will uh, put on my maintainer hat and let's do the release. So we will go slightly over time for this demo. Sorry about that, but yeah, we started 20 minutes later uh, due to infra issues. So yeah, anyway, if you have to drop, uh, we will have a recording. Uh, okay. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, a link and you can see that the release drafter has already picked it up. 
so we have one uh, uh, bug fix uh, which will which we will also uh, polish uh, bugs. and uh, let's uh, just uh, try to carry out the release of this plugin so full disclaimer I have never done that before uh, and yeah you can see that our documentation is already uh, updated so yeah, yeah we could do it a bit better by adding borders to these images but yeah, let's keep it as is for now. Um, so we are going to do a release. So for that, uh, uh, okay, I will just uh, initiate uh, my SSH key because I do not uh, grant myself uh, permissions by default. And historically, it's a good thing to do. Uh, so uh, we go to the master branch. Okay. So we will just take master from origin. And, uh, let's double check that we merged the pull request and we migrated documentation. So we are theoretically ready to release. Before the, uh, doing that, uh, I will just check uh, that I have uh, permissions to release the plugin because I believe that I have asked for permissions uh, a while ago. And here, yeah, I have permissions to release this plugin. So let's uh, just do that. It doesn't have tests inside. Uh, maybe it has some, but definitely not enough to become a problem. So we will just uh, do the release. And yeah, it may take a while on my machine because I'm running it on my Windows with antivirus enabled and all other things which definitely don't help my event to operate properly. Uh, so let's just let uh, it run for a while. And if nothing breaks, it uh, should just pass on my machine uh, in a few minutes. And uh, let's uh, take a look at our next steps. So yes, we will be using release drafter for the change log. So once everything builds, I will uh, publish a release for that. And and and. So what else uh, do we need uh, to do here? Actually, nothing because it will be a complete play, uh, plugin documentation migration. So while it builds, do you have any other questions? Okay, so by the way, if you work on the plugin documentation, helping uh, plugins to migrate change logs uh, to release drafter is also a good thing to do. Or maybe not to release drafter, but definitely migrate out of wiki. Uh, for that, if you want to uh, see some information and guidelines, we have a recorded session, which I have already referenced. And uh, yeah, also you can find information here in this ASCII doc file. A step to step uh, guide how to, enable release drafter and how to configure it for your repositories. So it actually runs tests, so it may take a few minutes more. So let's uh, just uh, fix uh, the plugin a bit uh, because I see that uh, there are some issues here. Uh, so uh, in Chuck Norris we have labels, but these uh, labels actually go, come from uh, uh, um, uh, our wiki, but right now we support using GitHub topics. So for example, here we can just take uh, UI, because yeah, this is UI, it's also uh, Jenkins uh, plugin. Uh, well, it doesn't really change anything, but uh, it's fine. And uh, let's say, is there a label uh, for fun? Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly uh, labels uh, to, uh, to put there, but yeah. Maybe it's even a, a label for Chuck Norris. Yeah, Chuck Norris, uh, Chuck Norris jokes. Uh, see, there are so many labels uh, in GitHub which uh, help us to show this plugin. So why not? <laughs> so we put these labels. Uh, we also need to edit the description. Uh, so Chuck Norris plugin for Jenkins and we will uh, fix the link so it points uh, uh, to our new location. So, are you still able to hear me? 
because yeah, I'll close the window. I'm back. So you can see that uh, the migration is still running, uh, but still, um, yeah, once everything passes, uh, we will uh, have some labels and we can also check uh, our update center uh, for whether we have uh, um, other labels to put. Okay, for that we have, uh, uh, allowed GitHub topics uh, filter. So here we have all topics which are uh, supported right now. And yeah, we can actually get more later. But yeah, definitely there is no uh, topic for plugins like that, which basically uh, it's some fun or gamification. Uh, so yeah, probably an oversight we could improve later as user experience to uh, group all of uh, such plugins. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now, okay. We'll just keep it as is. So if you want to add a label specifically for such kind of plugins, please do so. And here you can see that actually right now we are uploading Chuck Norris plugin. And yeah, release 1.3 has officially happened. So it will take uh, some time to get it displayed here because uh, our backend needs to process that, it needs to regenerate the update center, then it needs to regenerate the plugin side. So it will take a few hours before it starts uh, really displaying. Let's just finish uh, the release and uh, publish the change log. So here yeah, we have uh, this change log draft. Uh, I just double checked. Uh, uh, before the release so that is actually what we need to do. So um, yeah, this is uh, uh, the pull request we will be releasing. And I'm not sure why there are so big differences likely because of Dependabot. Now let's just check uh, uh, this pull request, for example, when it was released, just to make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it was released in the previous version. So then uh, I will just take uh, this uh, change log. Well, you can actually release it as is, but I prefer uh, to copy them and copy edit a bit. So let's say we have a version tag, 1.3, which was pushed by our release flow. So I will say click the release, uh, version 1.3, and here is our change log. So uh, remove repeated thoughts, uh, then update Jenkins core requirements. Uh, there is a type in my pull request. I will also move uh, this uh, to, uh, to two entries. I use plugin bomb for dependencies. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not even uh, dependencies. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll keep it here because it changed the dependencies actually. Uh, using uh, update plugin form and uh, these versions uh, they have nothing to do with user needs so i usually put them to maintenance but yeah it's up to you as a maintainer how you handle that and for example here well we can just release it as is and i think that it's re actually ready to go um, so publish the release and hey we have a change log done so uh, then uh, uh, users of this plugin, which uh, use that, will receive the notification that uh, the release is out. So you automated the communication. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, yep, once everything passes and metadata is flushed, you will also have a link here to the change log. So the migration is actually complete. It's just uh, automatic stuff which needs to, be, uh, to happen before everything is displayed. So, any questions? If not, uh, yeah, I will just uh, finish the recording.
And again, thanks to everyone who participated in this section. And if you contribute to plugin migration, it's much appreciated. If you also want to improve for developer experience, like uh, adding linting for links, it's also welcome because finally it helps uh, users because they don't uh, hit all these obsolete links everywhere. So uh, any contribution uh, will be appreciated. Okay. Mm, I'll stop screen sharing. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks.